here is another brain tumor. Note again that the general central portions of the tumor are liquefied, which as you know in the brain generally means necrosis because the general pattern of necrosis within the brain is liquefactive necrosis. Please notice that the tumor is very irregular besides being centrally necrotic and it is considerably more red or hemorrhagic than the surrounding brain perhaps because it's getting a very much of an increased blood supply. Here is a slide of that same tumor. Notice it is extremely cellular in this area and it is extremely necrotic here. So without any reason to beat this into the ground any further, I've already told you whenever you see a brain tumor that has necrosis, you could call it a glioblastoma multiforme as long as it's a primary astrocytoma. It means it's a high-grade astrocytoma. But in addition, you could see some palisading of the tumor around the necrotic area. Uh, you could also see some nice uh, blood vessels extending from this necrotic area. And last but not least, in every glioblastoma, you don't have to look very long to find really, really big, ugly, nasty cells. Like here, like here, like here, like here. These are just a couple of neutrophils, aren't they? But let's find some more nasty cells because I'm in a nasty mood today. Here's a nasty cell. Here's a blood vessel. Uh, most of these are regular tumor cells. Don't be surprised to find an occasional neutrophil, which you can maybe recognize quickly, but I don't think there's too many of them in this field. But more you go towards the necrotic areas, the more likely you are to find neutrophils. Glioblastoma multiforme, synonymous with high-grade astrocytoma, synonymous with high-grade glioma, very, very nastiest of all primary brain tumors. The survival untreated from time of diagnosis is less than one year. Thank you.